The iPhone 14 Pro just came out and we got a bunch of speaking cases. Eight here to be exact, so let's get started. The first case is a new one to me, it's called the Geo Armor 360. This one is basically probably the bulkiest case that offers the best protection for your phone. It's basically a two-piece case, they do come with two different type of like screen protectors, one clearly with one and one without. In my experience, if you already have a screen protector on there, in this case a glass screen protector, the one without the plastic covering over it doesn't really work and you can see the bubbles or the edges starting to come off. I did try on the other one with the screen protector on and it works on top of the glass screen protector. There is no bubbling and for the touch sensitivity, it feels fine. So to be honest, if I were to pick one, I would just go straight for protection versus the one without it. I can't comment on plastic screen protectors because I just haven't tried it yet. But if you want the best protection, especially with the back covering, this one feels really good. For me, I do like more of a texture on the cases. This one does have a more rougher sandstone type feel, almost like the OnePlus's one, but not as rough. It is a thicker case, but of course that is obvious when you get this much protection. So if you are very clumsy or work in more harsh conditions, then this is probably the one you should get. Oh, also, this one is MagSafe compatible, so it will work with your MagSafe products. Moving on to the classic cases, we got the thin fit. First up, I really like the color of this. This one's called Metal Slate, and it looks really nice when the light hits. This one is a thinner case, so you don't get as much protection, but I do like the grip on this, so it doesn't feel like it's slipping out of your hands. On the sides, they do have this slight two-tone design, and it's still pretty grippy on the corners or on the sides, but not as much as the back. The only thing I wish this case have is MagSafe, and that would be perfect, but it may add on a little bit of thickness to it. Next up is the Liquid Air. This one, as you know, is not my favorite just because of the design. I'm not a fan of it and those little tiny grooves will probably get some dirt or lint in there some time of its life and it will take some more effort to get out. It is a flexible case since it's TPU so it's very easy to get your phone in and out. On the sides, you do feel some texture on it but the overall feel or finish does feel very smooth so I wouldn't really rely on this on your hands as much as the thin fit. Next up is the Rugged Armor, this one is like the OG case and this year they pretty much changed the design and I really like it. I do like the new design since it looks more minimal and clean. There was too much going on near the camera bump which I didn't really like in the beginning but I'm glad they made this change. The overall feel of the rugged armor feels the same as the past. Very smooth finish and like a slight sandstone texture but overall very smooth. On the sides there are texture and this year they feel more bumpy and more rigid so I do feel more of it when I'm holding this case. In the hands, it does feel a bit thicker and it's less flexible, but I think that's mainly due to the MagSafe on this, which is a great addition to have. Overall, with the new design and MagSafe, this is a really great update to this case. Next up is the Mag Armor. This one is, I think, one of the first MagSafe cases that they came out for iPhones, and it does feel more flexible than the Rugged Armor, but for the look, kind of closer to the Liquid Air. Instead of the triangle design, you do get lines and pretty much with the same issue as before with dirt and stuff. It can get in there, but I think this one is just a bit easier to clean. But when this kit gets dirty, I think it looks pretty ugly and it stands out, not in a very good way. And you can clearly see the MagSafe ring inside the case. On the sides, there are no textures, so basically the overall feel of this case is very smooth. Next up is the Ultra Hybrid. This one is a clear case, so if you want to show off the color, especially if you got the purple one, then definitely this one is the best one from this lineup. And also, it is MagSafe compatible, where this case looks very close to Apple's own case. The only difference here is the color of the ring, so this one is the graphite color, which works very well and blends more with the black iPhone. Unless you do like that white ring, which makes the case pop out more. The case is less flexible so it's a bit tougher to get out but on the sides it does have that TPU feel so you do have some sort of friction or grip holding it on the sides. The next case is called the silicone fit. This case also looks pretty similar to Apple's silicone case and overall the finish and feel is more grippy than Apple's since in my opinion that feels much smoother so if you want the better grip in your hands this version or the Spigen case is better for that. There is a felt like finish inside the case so it won't scratch your phone. Again, pretty much same as Apple's and there's also MagSafe in this. 
With silicone cases, I think the best pro about these is the grip, but the con about it is it's a bit tougher to put in your pocket or take it out. Especially when it clings onto the cloth in your pocket, it does take some effort to push it in. And I will say over time, you will see a lot of wear and tear where you get these like shiny spots where it doesn't look that great. So this is something that you would have to think about replacing in a year or so. But that's just my experience with a lot of silicone cases. The last case we have is called the Cryo Armor. This one is made specifically for gamers, which basically keeps your phone cool when you're playing long sessions. So obviously if you play games, this one is the one to get. Unfortunately, it's not massive compatible and on the back panel, it's very grippy. It's probably the most grippy material out of all the cases I've mentioned in this video. So when you're playing games, it really sits well on your fingers and it doesn't feel like your phone is slipping around. And also maybe in the future instead of the blue color, they might have different ones like red, green, or even like purple. But overall, I do like the design. The corners are pretty smooth. It's not textured or anything, but they do have some sort of bump on the side. So it does add a little bit to the grip. So that is my overview of all these speaking cases. Let me know which one you like the best and what do you think about the new Rugged Armor design? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.